This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 23. No! It gets instant pressure and sacks all game. Pushes the run game backwards. And gets a record setting amount of takeaways. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again using my Denver Broncos defensive ebook, which I feel is the most underrated and the best defense to use in Madden 23. But on offense, I'm switching up to the Baltimore Ravens, which is my second favorite playbook, and in my opinion, the best playbook for running and trick plays in the entire game. As always, if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you don't want to wait, you want to see more out of this or any of my ebooks right now, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment, and it will download instantly to your phone or laptop, or you can have it sent to the email of your choice. Since I am using the Ravens, playbook i'm also going to be using the ravens team as they are basically the team that the playbook was designed for i start the game out on offense and on the first play i make the right read to keep the ball but nick bosa is just that guy oh. and he makes the play anyway so that's the last time i'm going to be running in his direction i switch over to my gun empty quads offense which is a scheme that i put out earlier this year i will have a link in the description for that video as well i get about five yards back but on third and nine i get nothing and i decide to hurry it up and go for it which is something i rarely do i figure he hasn't seen me pass the ball yet so he shouldn't know where the ball is going and he leaves the drag wide open as he barely falls forward for the first down. I then switch to a new offense that I'm hoping to bring you guys soon out of the pistol spread as it's really one of the hardest offenses to predict in the entire game. My four play audibles are the read option, the zone alert bubble, the trap fake jet, and the jet sweep, and the PA deep which is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses that I already used in a previous gameplay. I'll once again have links in the description for that as well. I start with the read option once again but this time I make sure to flip the play to stay away from Nick Bosa. The fake Big jet trap is really a good counter to the jet sweep as most people follow the motion across expecting an outside run, leaving a huge run lane inside as we power four for the first. Even if the user doesn't bite and stay home, the trap block does a really good job of opening holes as we run it again. This scheme is all about confusing with the motion, so since we ran it inside the first two plays, we take it with the sweep this time, and you can see my opponent already has no idea where the ball is going to go as we hurry it up and run it to the inside to get another first down. I see he's running a lot of cover three, so I switch it up to the PA deep to try to hit a one play touchdown but the blitzing cornerback he sends gets in instantly i try to take the check down but he catches it out of bounds effectively stalling the drive and resulting in a long but easy field goal which is essentially the light work for justin tucker on defense, I'm once again going to be using the Dime 2-3 defense, which I already put out two different defenses from. Once again, links in the description. It may look like a regular nickel package defense, but one of the things that makes this defense special is that you have the option to put a cornerback at one of these spots that's traditionally a linebacker, making this one of the fastest defenses and one of the best pass covering defenses in the entire game. I'm going to be once again using the Overstorm Brave, which is a play that I put out last week, but if you saw that video, I'm going to be showing you some brand new adjustments and setups that you can make to make this play even better than the traditional traditional meta setup that everyone has been using all year. The base defense that I already put out is simply pinching the defensive line, spraying the linebackers, and then QB containing, which will give you a look like this. Sometimes I like to send the defensive lineman slanting in, sometimes I like to send them slanting out. Both of those things can be helpful. You still want to take whoever is man to the running back and put them on a blitz and hover the center pre-snap before dropping into coverage after the snap. The running back is your first responsibility, so be ready to follow, but if he doesn't go out on a route, you can cover wherever you want. On the first play, you can see the instant pressure gets right in up the middle by both linebacker spots. So make sure you have your fastest cornerback and safeties in these spots as he gets the ball away for a first down. On the next play, I switch over to my under smoke defense and the pressure gets through on the outside, but he gets it away. I switch on and go for the ball instead of a tackle and Kittle just runs away from everyone as he is just as fast as my entire secondary apparently. Back on offense and back to the pistol spread. He's still in cover three, so I go back to the PAD play that I tried earlier in the game. All you have to do is motion this receiver across and put the X route on a comeback. My opponent starts to play by bringing the user safety down, making it even easier as we flip the field in one play. I go back to the read option on the next play and get the first down. Then we go back to the jet sweep, and we could have driven a truck through that lane. 
as his user shoots inside for the inside run Up. and we take a early lead. Now with a little over a minute before half, I'm not going to let George Kittle beat me again. So I want to double him with my user, meaning I can't really cover the running back. So I'm going to use a different setup and only send five on this blitz. I'm going to set it up the same way, only this time I'm going to be taking one of the blitzing linebackers and hover the gap before dropping back and doubling Kittle. And it's a good thing I did because he would have been wide open. As you can see, he bends that corner like it was shot out of a cannon. Gotcha, bitch. Key word is would have been. On the next play, I see he's in a man zero, but when I motion over the receiver, the DB doesn't follow. So I put him on a streak, expecting him a wide open touchdown, but somehow the defender catches up and he gets the ball right back. What? Now he's backed up in size five, beats me on the exact same curl route that he's been using the entire game. Then he tries a corner route, but Humphrey is not the one to test. Oh, no, you don't. As we high point the pass to cut it off, and now it's a foot race between McCaffrey and him to the end zone and we just barely cross for a pick six to take a two possession lead before half. He is clearly forcing the issue now as on the next play he tries to go over the top to Debo but my user is just clearly better as we come away with another pick on back to back plays. He doesn't leave me a lot of time on the clock but I would like a field goal so I get nothing on the first two plays and he is setting the house on third and ten so I use the China route in the escape play which beats just about any defense in the game and we get a huge catch and run into a field goal range to take a 20 to 7 lead into half. In the second half, he looks at the run lanes and thinks that he could pound the rock on me, but that's what QB contains are for as we shut down the stretch run instantly for a huge loss. He tries it again on second and 19, but I use it the fullback this time because when the safety is manned to the running back, he will immediately try to chase him down to cover him, which is really helpful against run plays as he stretches him out again and makes the play. On 3rd and 17, he motions out the running back, taking me out of the play entirely, getting to a 4th and 6, which he then converts on that same curl route he's been using all game. On 1st down, though, he tries that crosser once again, gotcha, bitch. and Humphrey is just built different, as he comes up with his 3rd pick of the day, as he is clearly winning the battle against Debo, as we return it inside the red zone. I make the mistake of testing Bosa again, as he shuts down my first two plays, once again getting me into a 3rd and long. I switch over to the red zone scissors play, and he is all over it, as I once again moss his user with the running back this time as that has really been the difference in the game before finishing off the drive with an inside zone he obviously has to pass now so i'm gonna go right back to that second blitz setup that i was using earlier in the game and i still get the exact same pressure right up the middle as we get an instant sack from the exact same linebacker spot despite only sending five blitzers showing that this setup is just as effective and i don't have to use the running back which is perfect on the next play, he is quick throwing to try to beat the pressure, and Debo is Marlon Humphrey's bitch, as I don't think he has a catch all game. On third and long, we use the exact same setup, and this time the edge defender comes off completely unblocked, Woo! forcing the pass to fall incomplete with five seconds left before the fourth quarter, essentially making this game over. But my man's not a quitter, as he decides to punt the ball away instead of quitting like most people would do, which I actually kind of respect. But we do punch it in, giving him the ball back with a few minutes left. He does get the ball back and the results are exactly the same as the QB contains shuts the run down again for a big loss before he tries to test Marlon Humphrey one more time. Gotcha, bitch. He was open too, but we see who the real Debo is. Told y'all, yo what's up? Beat him down, beat your ass. Who else wants some? Who else wants some of Debo? as Marlon Humphrey ties the NFL record for most interceptions in the game with four, all of them while covering the best receiver on the team. I mean, he is just that dude. So that's, that's the vid, but since my opponent played the entire game, I actually get to see the final stats against this nightmare defense, as my opponent completed as many passes to me as he did his own team. He also ran the ball four times for a total of negative seven yards. Props to this guy for sticking around, as most people definitely would have quit a long time ago. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section i will have links popping up on the screen from some of the offenses i used in this game so if you guys want to check that out i'm sure it'll help your game other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below